Hello everyone, this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven and welcome to my nursery room window. Today I have Maggie May with me. I also have her sister Katie Lynn and um, Katie Lynn is just going to be uh, watching today while uh, I change Maggie May into another fall outfit. And um, you might recognize this outfit from the last time that I changed Maggie Mae. This is um, a beautiful uh, corduroy outfit. It's a jumper and um, some cable knit tights and some cute little um, teddy, or teddy bear shoes that her Auntie Suzanne sent her all the way from the UK. And um, so I hate to take it off of her, but I'm, I'm going to do it just because I felt like um, changing Maggie Mae today. And um, so let me show you the outfit that she's going to be wearing today. So it's this really pretty fall outfit. Um, fall, fall flowers, fall leaves. And um, it came with these, I'll show you the little pants that it came with. These really, these really pretty um, sort of like a pumpkin colored long pants that are cuffed at the bottom. And so it's a pretty simple outfit that I'm going to be um, putting on her today. I'm going to be uh, leaving her um, the same color of earrings in because they match really well with this outfit. And uh, I'm going to be leaving her tights on and her, um, her nice little shoes because they go perfectly with this outfit too. So I just, um, but I am going to be putting these bows in her hair. I'm going to be doing her, her hair up in piggy tails like her little sister, Katie Lynn. And she's going to be wearing, uh, remember this? <laughs> it's, uh, remember the um, upside down hand turkey, uh, I call it a tur turkey necklace? Well, there it is. So she's going to be wearing her uh, pretend turkey necklace because it is, after all, Thanksgiving the Thanksgiving month and then um, the bracelet is one that matches with the color of beads in, in the necklace and so um, I thought that would look kind of cute and you know she does like wearing jewelry. So let's go ahead and get started. Well I'll tell you what you guys um, it's snowing today. It's, uh, it's the first snow of the season and it's it's not snowing really really hard um it's just kind of barely coming down and but it is um covering it's covering the ground um it's about 32 or 33 degrees outside right now and so um you know it's pretty cold but yeah we we have the first snow of the season and i'm pretty excited about that um i wanted to bring back um Augie, my Augie Bear, and all of his gang. Um, for those of you who are new subscribers to my channel, um, Augie Bear is a, he, he's a teddy bear that um, he he's very different in that he hibernates in, let's see, he hibernates um, spring through fall, and then he comes out um, to play in the... Um, you know the the fall through the the winter time so he's actually um augie the snow bear i call him a snow bear because he's you know he's he does completely opposite of what a normal bear would do and so right now um him and his friends are in the are in the window uh in the nursery room window but since i'm not changing um this little girl on the nursery room table right now I am going to introduce them to you um, in another video, but I wanted to let you know that Augie Bear and all of his friends and family are back, and um, for all my new subscribers, I'll be introducing him to you all um, in the next video. So, But they're very, very happy because the snow has come. Now we do have one, one uh, bear that's part of the friends, and um, that bear is, his name is Bugsy, and Bugsy is a bear that, he, he's, you know, like a normal bear, and so he's, he's getting ready to, to hibernate right now, 
and um, he's the bear that he doesn't understand what all the the fuss is about in the way of you know all the all the other bears the snow bears are coming out of hibernation and getting really excited to watch for the snow and he's getting you know he's he's fat and happy and getting drowsy and he wants to hibernate pretty soon so um, I'll make sure and introduce him to you all before um, he goes into hibernation <laughs> So there's a there's a whole story about these these little uh, teddy bears and um, so I'm a, I'm excited to uh, tell you the story um, for all of, of those um, that don't know the story I will introduce the story and all the bears in my next video now it may not be snowing then which I, I mean I kind of hope it will be snowing then but if it's not snowing that's okay because um, the all the snow bears they sit in the window and they wait and they wait and they wait for the snow to come and um, that's their thing and then when the snow comes and there's enough snow um, to build a snowman then they go out and build a snowman and uh, so that's the kind of the story behind it and um, they do actually go out and build a snowman um, and if you look back on my videos from last uh, winter you'll you'll see a picture of Augie Bear um, and he's standing outside in the snow <laughs> so um, that's a pretty cute video he actually did build a snowman but um, anyway so that's gonna be um, that's gonna be something fun that I I want uh, I wanted to add to my um, to my videos for the winter time because there's like I said there's a whole story behind um, Augie Bear and his friends and family and all the things that they do and and stuff so that's going to be really fun okay so I'm getting this one on um, and let's see the last time I put her tights on I didn't do that good of a I mean I tried to do a good job but what happened was that the tights got all twisted up so this one seems okay. This this one though, it's kind of still twisted. So I wanted to, I wanted to twist it around and make sure that it went on okay. I um I I actually didn't fit fit the tights on here properly last time. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to take the take this side off and try this one again. You know, ladies. Um, when you're wearing, if you wear pantyhose and you and you put it on wrong, put it on wrong, and it's all twisted up on your legs and it feels awful. Well, that's what happened to to Maggie May, and uh, so yeah, we're gonna try to fix that right now. The first, you know, the the tight, the one tight, um, this tight here was really easy to get on because it's of course the first leg, you know, it's the second leg that's the difficult one so let's see if I can get this on correctly this time so yeah my uh, my husband's coming uh, he's on his way home right now he's uh, been visiting in California and um, he's had a really nice time with uh, his brother and his his um, really good friend that lives there and so he but he's ready to come home um, he's the weather there in California has been really really nice for him and so uh, what happened is though now um, his the plane landed and he land and it's snowing <laughs> so he's going from you know really really gorgeous beautiful weather to not so not so great weather here and he he does not like the winters he doesn't like the winter time at all so He's uh, not going to be a very happy camper. But, you know, he's, I mean, you know, it's not that he's not going to be a happy camper. He would just prefer that the uh, the weather be, you know, hot, hot, hot weather. Hot meaning like in the, in the 80s, maybe 90s. <laughs> so, but anyway. Okay, so looks like we got this figured out. And um, let's go ahead and put these little pants on 
so yeah i thought i just i just wanted to, to change her into something different um i'll probably i'm hoping i'm going to get the put her corduroy outfit back on her, um, the one I just took off, at some point before November ends, because I really love that outfit, and um, actually corduroy is one of my, probably my most favorite fabric um, in baby's clothes. Uh, I love corduroy, I just, I don't know, I love the texture of it, and um, the, the, um, the nap. It's just all really, really neat. But I also like the, the plushy fabric that's, you know, that's perfect right now for the winter time. You know, blanket, plushy blankets. And so, but anyway, that looks pretty cute. Okay, yeah, she's being very patient. She says, Mommy, either, you know, sit me up or lay me down. But um, you just keep flip-flopping me everywhere. <laughs> So let's see. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera down just to, or maybe maybe what I'll do, there you go. Kind of move it back a bit so that you can see the shoes. I think the shoes are gonna go really good with this outfit. I have a feeling that these shoes, Suzanne, are going to be her go-to shoes for the outfits that she's gonna be wearing um, in the fall, This you know, this month, because I don't have any other color of um, cute little shoes. I don't have this color of shoes. And this color seems to go really, really well with everything. Um, they're just darling. So yeah, these are going to be her go-to shoes. And um, so thanks again for sending those along. Okay, what are we going to do next? Um, let's go ahead. Uh, I'll put her necklace on right now since she's got she doesn't have her hair in, in piggy tails this is a stretch necklace so go ahead and put that on that's her her favorite part of the outfit is is the jewelry you know <laughs> so I just have to say and then okay here's your little bracelet and we'll put your bracelet on this hand there we go yeah so yeah what do you think? Okay, I'm going to raise the camera up right now just a bit. And um, we're going to go ahead and put some little pigtails in her hair. And I'm going to move this pillow for a moment. In fact, what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to put it uh, down, uh, further down on her back so that I can, um, so that she can sit up straighter for this process. Yeah. So yeah, she's gonna she's gonna match her sister Katie Lynn with um not in her outfit especially but with uh her hair. She's gonna be wearing her piggy tails. And I know in the UK they call it um they call them bunches. And uh, that you know actually I've said this before, but the term bunches really makes a lot more sense than calling calling them piggy tails. <laughs> But um, I, I can never think of the word bunches when I want to say it. And so I'll, I'll start out saying piggy tails and then I can call them bunches whenever I think of the word. But there's one side. There we go. Yeah, I was hoping, um, I'm hoping with these two toddler girls to, uh, neither of them have a big wardrobe at all. So I, what I'm really hoping is that um, I can get them some outfits that are coordinated and, for each season. And this one's kind of coordinated. Um, it does have, you know, the same color of like um, goldenrod yellow that uh, Katie Lynn's dress has. So, it, you know, it kind of goes. I'm trying to see if I'm getting her ponytail right. Oh, let's see. I'm going to have to, I hope, I'm not sure what's going on in the camera right now for you guys, but I need to put my head in it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. How's that? Let's turn you around here. Yeah. I think that's going to work. There we go. 
Put that one back. And then we'll put her, um, where's the little bows in her hair? Go. Yeah, she looks really cute in bows too. She looks cute in everything. I mean, I I shouldn't, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm prejudiced, I guess, because I'm her mommy, but you know how that goes. Okay, what else? Well, um, I think that was, I think that's uh, her entire outfit. And, uh, oh, I know what I was going to do. I want to show you Toby again. And I, I want to show you why he's called a box turtle. Um, several people had, had asked, why is Toby called a box turtle? So I'm going to put you on hold for just a second and go get Toby. And I'm going to demonstrate. Okay, everyone. So here's Toby. And um, I'm going to show you why he's called a box turtle. And this doesn't hurt at all. See how he tucks himself inside? There's his head. Hi! See him peeking out? Actually, box turtles, what they'll do is they'll close up so tightly in their shells that you can't no way open up the shell once they're in there. Here we go. Here we go. See, he's getting used to it now. He's not a turtle that's very scared, especially um, since nothing happened, you know. What they do is they go inside their shells uh, for protection. And that's what Toby just did. He, he felt like he was in danger, and so he went back into his shell. But, you know, see, now he's like, oh, I know what Mommy's doing. <laughs> So anyway, everyone, I wanted to show you, I wanted to demonstrate um, Toby again and show you why he is called a box turtle because he tucks into his shell uh, like as tight as a box. And so that's the story behind that. So I hope you enjoyed knowing that and seeing Toby again. Um, I, I had a lot of people that, um, that said they love seeing Toby and uh, I was amazed because a lot of people don't really care for reptiles and turtles and things like that. But um, I do. And I found out that um, there's other, uh, my dolly friends do too. And so anyway, he's trying, <laughs> he's trying to get away. Uh, but um, okay, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed seeing Toby again and seeing Maggie May and, and Katie Lynn. And next time it's Katie Lynn's turn um, to get changed. So I'm going to swap them back and forth uh, when I do changing videos. Um, so I uh, hope everyone's having a great day. Have a wonderful week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.